This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Time to get our HD Nation on. Let's start out with Kyle who writes in, I was just about to buy a Hulu Plus subscription and BAM! They're on the market to get eaten by a bigger fish. Should I get the Hulu Plus anyway or should I wait a bit before I buy? Kyle. Who is this bigger fish? Uh, well basically, uh, we, we actually we were talking about this on uh, Monday. Uh, Google, oh. Amazon, DirecTV, several other like, people are basically bidding on Hulu Plus. Two billion and change is, is the rumored price. I say go for it. Hulu's a month -to -month, uh, Hulu Plus is a month-to-month -month subscription. You don't like where it goes after it's acquired? You can just cancel the subscription and you're done. Uh, you know what? Seriously, too. Uh, the Plus uh, content deals change all the time. So yeah. you might be able to view some content now that you won't have access to in a few months. And that would apply to everybody. It could be <laughs> Netflix, iTunes, Amazon, Vudu. Cable. I, I wonder if HBO. Anybody's, I want to know if anybody's actually tracking that to see where, <laughs> what, what they offer when you first subscribe versus, say, like a month from now, how things yeah. change over time. Because uh, it's in constant flux. If you're thinking about a startup, Mr. Heron and I would love to see a website that does nothing but track the availability of HD content I across need all sources. Charts. I must know. <laughs> Phil, hey. oops, sorry. <laughs> Go for it. Hey, Phil, aka Flying Sob, tweeted this to us. He says, "At Robert Heron, our standard speed slash category one HDMI cables really only good up to 720p 1080i. I thought all HDMI cables were basically equal." Well, that's a darn good question, actually. Uh, category 1 and Category 2 rated HDMI cables, or what they call standard and high-speed cables, are a reference to that version 1.3 HDMI spec. Basically, Category 1 cables were uh, supposedly verified to transport video signals up to 720p and 1080i, while the Category 2, the faster cables, those rated cables would handle the increased bandwidth of, say, a 1080p 60 video signal. Thank goodness the HDMI licensing group, uh, they say basically that and they would prefer that everyone ignore these categories and spec versions and instead simply focus on what features you need the HDMI cable to support. A 1080p video, most HDMI cables have no problem moving a 1080p video signal and it doesn't matter when you bought it. Uh, 3D video support, there's really nothing special there either. Most HDMI cables will work just fine either. Now when we get to something like audio return channel or ethernet support, well, those are two relatively new HDMI features that will require a new cable to properly support them. Hmm. So don't get all, I, I, really, I really like that the HDMI group said, you know what, even if you look on, as far as how these cables are advertised, anybody who's within their, their, their spec group right. can't even write on there what the spec version of the cable <laughs> is in terms of their marketing of the cable. Right. They can say latest version, that'll be about as far as you'll get. Uh, they won't actually say 1.3, 1.4, because it's, it's just, it, it's too easy to confuse people with that kind of information when it really doesn't tell you, you know, sure that cable may have been approved for that spec. That doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's not actually going to work. For the newer yeah, spec. just just plug it in. That's oh. all you really have to remember. So, <laughs> hey, and Florian writes in uh, an email question. I always love these. Uh, we just moved into a house with a flat screen TV. Uh, now, having hooked up my home theater PC, I noticed that Windows recommended a resolution of 1366 by 768. Seeing that that's not uh, 720p nor 1080p, I was wondering what, uh, where should I do the scaling? Should I have my PC output 1080p, 1366 by 768, or 720p? Cheers and keep up the good work. Signed Florian from London. Well, scaling or the resizing of the video picture to fit the display is something I really prefer to have the source device perform whenever possible. Right. Uh, in Florian's case, I'd configure the graphics card to take care of the scaling duties. There's actually a setting for, for most, like at least for ATI and AMD and, and video cards, they have an actual checkbox there to take care of that. I, I would also like to point out that having owned a 720p HDTV that was actually native 1366 by 768, that may actually be the correct resolution for you know a 169 HDTV of a certain age. Oh, totally. Just saying. Most, <laughs> most smaller screens. Uh, and older HDTVs that were widescreen, that was a really common resolution to get. It's now, not 720p, it's not 1080p, but it's what you uh, got. It's kind of funny, that gets you yeah. right over that one million pixel mark, I think that's why they kind of chose that. But right. Beside the point, <laughs> to get the best picture quality though when connecting PCs to high definition TVs, number one, go with a digital connection whenever possible, like if, you're, if your notebook or whatever the computer you have has DVI out or HDMI output, use that and connect that to a, a, an HDMI or DVI port on the TV. And likewise, also select the output resolution 
that matches as closely as possible the display itself. So if you have a 1366 by 768 TV and your, and your source device will actually support that native resolution, choose that. And then let the scaling take place on the PC and you're good to go. I think, I think. that's the way it is. <laughs> That's the way it was. August 23rd, 2011. Actually, it's time for the new Blu-ray releases for August 23rd, 2011. First up, The Beaver. This 2011 film directed by Jodie Foster, uh, who stars in the film, by the way, alongside Mel Gibson, who plays a troubled businessman who turns to a beaver puppet to communicate with others. It comes with a single Region A locked 50 gig disc with an MPEG-4 AVC codec, 2.39 to 1 aspect ratio, and a delightful DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 soundtrack. High Def Digest gave this film a 4 out of 5, saying it, quote, faithfully reproduces a film-like experience in the home, despite the occasional soft shot or crushed blacks. Extras include an audio commentary with Jodie Foster, four minutes of deleted scenes, and a 12-minute making-up featurette. If you're a fan, of course, you're going to love this one. Next up, the greatest movie ever sold. Opinions are divided on this movie in the office. Uh, this is by the uh, writer-director of Super Size Me, Morgan Spurlock. He is back with a documentary that explores the world of product placement by financing the movie itself with product placement. The release comes on a single 50 gig disc with an MPEG-4 ABC codec, 185 to 1 aspect ratio, and again, the oh so common and delightful DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 soundtrack. There's an audio commentary with Spurlock, his producer, cinematographer, and editor, a 14 minute featurette about the film's premiere at Sundance, 10 minutes of shooting the commercials for the film, and 48 minutes of deleted scenes. Also coming out this week, Rounders. I love this flick. 1998, Matt Damon, Edward Norton, two friends who are in big trouble playing poker. The release is on a single 50 gig disc, lots of space for the MPEG-4 AVC codec, and DTS HD Master soundtrack. Both Blu-ray.com and High Def Digest were impressed with the video quality, with the Digest calling it an impressive looking transfer that is free of any technical hiccups. Blu-ray.com references its remarkable clarity and sharpness with nicely saturated colors and solid black levels. By the way, some great acting in this film and a cameo from John Malkovich. Well, actually, just Malkovich is chewing scenery in this one. It's good. There's also two audio commentaries, one with the cast and crew, one with four professional poker players who can comment on, well, the reality of this thing. Also included a five-minute behind-the-scenes special, a five-minute featurette on the world of professional poker, and four short tips from the pros in the commentary. As always, check out our show notes at techzilla.com or hdnation.tv for the rest of this week's Blu-ray releases. The police will be out in force nationwide from August 19th to September 5th in a nationwide effort to crack down on impaired driving. Don't put yourself and others in danger or risk the terrible legal repercussions. Drive sober or get pulled over. Here's an interesting piece of info about the impact of drunk driving. Each year, nearly 12,000 people die on our roads due to impaired driving. That would be equal to about 30 jumbo jets crashing each year. Record numbers of state and local law enforcement and highway safety officials across the nation will be taking part, and they will be looking for drunk drivers day and night and making the roads safer for the rest of us. They will find you, so don't be stupid. Do yourself a favor, drive sober, or get pulled over.